interested in letting you the believer know is the true new age it is a concept that many in the church world frowns upon and they continue to frown upon but it is because we don't take time as men and women of god to educate our people and to bring them knowledge not only from the word of god but from historical facts many things that we shunned we have never studied i can't come and talk to you about truth if all i know is what i know to identify what truth is you would have to understand other concepts of reality that may be opposed to what you know then you are able to have the valid verifications that what you know and what you purport is yeah. the truth a lot of the beliefs of the modern new age movement are closely related to biblical principles 80 to 90 percent of what they own is truth it will be difficult for you to navigate through the falsehoods if the devil wants to deceive you he doesn't come with three hands he comes in similarities to convince you that what is being presented is real if you look at the present day new age movement you realize that is a conglomerate of all faiths and religion and this is where you're going to see where the devil now started coming in to pervert certain ideas that they took from different aspects of faith and belief to now coin the demonialism of new age where now we see it as witchcraft in the church there is a lot to look at when it comes to even the demonic world the bible tells you we are not ignorant of the devices of the devil the advantage of satan is the ignorance of what he does if you are ignorant about what satan does that is his advantage over you i want to break and remove the shed of religion so that you can enter into newness a new and living way i'm bringing you to it very soon you can actually start leaving this world and attending school within the universe either in the spirit or bodily, it is possible. My father goes to school in the heavenlies and comes back and teaches us. And it's only by his grace that a door opened for me to be able to have access into these schools and to be able to teach the things that I'm being taught. Because before I would get bits and pieces of revelation, but it wasn't until Prophet Glovis became my father in the Lord. But it wasn't until Prophet Glovis became my father in the Lord. But it wasn't until Prophet Glovis became my father in the Lord. Where I was able to get taken into certain realms and get revelation about this universe. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, brothers, sisters, friends, enemies, and frenemies. The reason why I included that clip of Camille Hedrick was because someone asked me uh, who, how I knew her spiritual papa was Prophet, uh, what's his name? Prophet Glovis E. Christ is this man's name. And I'm going to give you a wolf warning. The wolf warning goes out for Fort, Fort Worth, Texas. This church is called Supernatural Church. It's a new age uh, witchcraft, sorcery, <laughs> astrology, remote viewing, etc. Well, I'm going to show you a clip of it so we can prove this, this whole church is operating in new age. So you saw the clip before where he's saying he's getting ready to teach some folks some stuff. So here we go. Let's hear what he has to say. This this is entitled Awakening Supernatural Sunday with Prophet Glovis. We're going to watch this and use this material under the terms of fair use for reaction, criticism, critique, and parody. And we're going to get some laughs out of this. We're going to get some wolf warnings out of this. We're going to get some... We're going to get some what's wrong with you people out of this. Does this sound familiar? Yes. Teach us. Teach us. And this dude is friends with false prophet Lovi Elias and Passion Java. They're a syndicate of deception. Things that I want my spirit to share with you today. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. As I walk you through universal truths of the kingdom of God and enlighten you for that concerning the reality of human existence. Yes. Yes. Go pray. Pray the Lord. We need a good foundation. Last week, how did a long foundation? <laughs> we had such a, a long service. Now watch for the new age, um, the new age buzzwords. We haven't heard any yet, but I'll I'll ring the bell when we hear them. And see if you can keep track of how many new age buzzwords we hear in about, I don't know, we'll watch 10, 20 minutes of this. <clears throat> Good grief. Come on, man. Out of life. Oh, wait a minute. Dispensation. Well, that's not necessarily for everybody a, a bad word, but in his case, he's going to talk about some crazy stuff. Wow. These have been presented in our time dispensations by God for the directing of man according to their cause. And also it is to preserve the human experience. Yes. Because as we learned from last week, that the fallen ones, <coughs> those rebels, are out to destroy the human experience. Mm -hmm. And to totally abolish abolish the human experience. And I said last week that if we are not careful, that they will succeed in doing that before we ever... I don't know exactly what this human experience thing is, but the mighty ones, the chosen ones, and the fallen ones. We're going to get some... I'm going to speak this up a little bit because he is just too slow. We're going to go to 1.5. <laughs> he is talking too slow. He's entirely too, um, too thinking much of himself. So he's going along the lines of what Celestial was doing, transhumanism and changing the human genome. So he is definitely off his biblical rocker. None of this stuff. He's not he, he, he's not even going to talk about the scripture. The different ways by which they are trying to change the human genome. Wow. So that you can be able to understand what is going on. But then I'll also expose to you how to be able to identify those kind of humans who are not really humans. Come on, yeah. 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 So much that yeah. God has placed my hand to show you and to reveal to his people. Mm -hmm. Now, in all of this, the plans that they have, I want you to understand that it began even in the days of Noah, like we saw, that in the days of Noah, when men began to increase on the earth, the Bible says that the fallen ones decided to take themselves, wives of whatsoever they chose, mm -hmm. and they interpreted with humans up until the point all humanity was corrupted and Wow. That is the one that the rest of the time. Yeah, right. This is a big controversy right now. This is a lot of what these weirdos want to mix in. Uh, Nephilim stories, transhumanism, alien stories, um, conspiracy theories. <clears throat> now let's go on. You have to understand that Jesus says that as he was in the days of Noah, so shall the coming of the Son of Man. Yes. 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 That means whatever you see happening in that. No, he said, as it was in the days of Noah. People will be eating and drinking, giving in marriage and marrying. Uh, in other words, people will, will not see it coming. He's trying to connect it to um, because there were giants and Nephilim in the days before the flood. That's how it's going to be in the days before the second coming. That's not what that scripture means at all. It just means people are not going to see his second coming coming, just like they did not see the flood coming. This man is ravenous. Whoa. <clears throat> Thickening. Time dispensation will actually repeat again towards the showing of the sun. Yes. Wow. 
then we need to understand it. There is a need for the church to be prepared and to be awakened as to who they are, what they are, before it is completely taken away from them. That's true. Because if you are not awakened in this hour, you will become a candidate of that experience of corruption. Right. Am I speaking to somebody? Yeah. Yeah. So if you're, and the person you, you are going to hear um, doing all this. Yes, teach us, teach us. Now. Do you know? Right. Wow. Yes. Yes. Well, That's good. That's his, good. His biggest, his biggest person who's going to be Oh, that's not it. Professor, professor. It's none other than Sean Hedrick. You're going to hear his voice over and over again. So, in that day and in that time, God decided to cleanse the earth by way of the flood. Mm -hmm. The flood of Noah was an act of cleansing. Cleansing of the race of humans that have been corrupted. Mm -hmm. And I spoke to you that even though the blood came in the days of Noah, it did not... The holy ones, the mighty ones, and the chosen ones. Oh, my goodness. And he's saying uh, gene, gene generation, earth cleansing, flood of Noah. This man don't understand anything about Jesus' second coming because he ain't coming back to play no games. <laughs> I spoke to you that even though the blood came in the days of Noah, it did not totally abolish the giants. No. Because the Bible says that there were giants in those days, and after that, how they escaped the flood is another subject to deal with. But I want you to understand something that this flood that God uses for earth cleansing, it's not just a kind of a punishment, it is actually a prediction of the end of an age, or the end of a second generation, and the beginning of a new generation. Wow. Wow. So I said to you last week that what we are going to see, even as we begin to see floods increasing over all around the world. It is because it is a sign of what God is ending and what is about to start. This is a cult. This is a weird cult. We are seeing earth cleansing, not according to the globalist idea of earth cleansing. I'm talking about God's own spiritual work on the face of the earth so that He can reform His universe and bring about the establishment of His purpose, His eternal purpose for the universe. And so there has to be a kind of cleansing so that those who are not walking in the frequency of God for the new age. Whoop, there we go. Hold on. The frequency of God for the frequency of God for what? So that those who are not walking in the frequency of God for the new age will not come to that age to destroy it. So he, he's not he's not understanding what the Bible says. He thinks we're gonna have a new age. No, we're gonna have uh the return of the Lord and him setting up his kingdom. It's not gonna be an age like he's thinking. This is why I need to teach you concerning being awakened. Yes. Yes. So, yes. You know, teach us. Teach us. Wow. Right. Wow. Yes. Yes. Well, yes. Good. Yes. That's good. Good. That's teach us. Wow. Beginning and starting a work of cleansing in the earth, mm -hmm. as well as ending one generational era mm -hmm. and then starting another generational era as it did in the time of Noah. Wow. Now, understand that the cleansing was to remove those who were not awakened to the truth of the human reality. Mm -hmm. The reason that when people became corrupted, I spoke to you that Satan My does not gosh. come and take you and go with you unless you are at a certain state, state to follow. Right. Right. Because if he comes to you and you are not at a certain state to follow, no matter what he does, you will not follow. Mm -hmm. So the corruption only comes and only becomes uh, possible if the person that has been brought to that state have already given themselves to a certain vibrational orientation yeah. that will bring about the corruption in them. Mm -hmm. Satan does not take you unless you are in a certain state to follow him. Right. Are you still there? Yeah. 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 So, without understanding... They are on the edge of their seats listening to what is literally doctrine of demons. If you are not awakened, fully awakened to who you are, what you are, in the reality of who you are in the human uh, existential, you are going to be susceptible to that which Satan is trying to do in these last days. And it's, I told you last week, it's important. See, this is, um, and I have a writing on this. What did I do with that? This is uh, awakening, awakening to who you are. In other words, this is not preaching Christ and him crucified and the person of Christ as deity. This is awakening to the Christ consciousness in you. That's how the New Agers, there's New Ager, New Agers who think they're Christians, but it's like, I'm. they think they're God. Than what we have seen in the Bible days. Much of 
much, much worse. No. Crazy. Whoever allows themselves to be corrupted, you have a lot to answer. Wow. Four. And I've already spoken to you concerning what hell is. Yeah. You remember that? Yes. Yeah. Man, this dude is going to have Ooh. a lot to answer for. This is because um, none of these people are saved, and he's not preaching the life, death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, the blood of Jesus for the forgiveness of sins. He's talking about awakenings to who you really are. Yeah, you're a sinner, and you're a false prophet, a wicked, demonic warlock leading people to hell. It is not just um, what we think about hell facing this money. You know, it is the reconstruction of a human soul. Mm -hmm. We've dealt with that extensively. Yeah. Now, what I want you to understand. Hell is a reconstruction of the human soul. Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute. Who are you? This dude is absolutely Looney Tunes. Is that Satan has come to keep you from being away because he knows that it is the truth that makes you. Yes. Satan has come to keep you from being awakened. Um, what? This dude is absolutely... It, th this is like putting people to sleep, to understanding they're sinners, and they need to repent. You all need to repent. If you don't have the truth in you, you will always be susceptible to whatever Satan wants to do. Right. You will always become a victim of what Satan is doing in the world. Yes. But unless you become awakened to truth... What Satan is doing in the world is sending men like this lying deceiver at a at, at the most break breakneck pace that it's ever been seen on earth there's never been seen on earth before this many fraudulent false teachers and it is time to oh! wake up but these folks are being put to sleep being put to death level of truth, you always find yourself becoming the victim of calamities victim of issues that you show yourself Oh, some beautiful things. Yeah. 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 in the background getting loud. Now, secondly, I said that it is only those who are awakened that are able, that are going to be able to dominate the new age. Yes. Because this awakening is for the new age that is coming. Yes. Yes. The new age that is at hand. This new age that God has prepared for men. Yeah. That new age, it will only take the awakened ones to dominate that new age. Can I speak to you? Oh, yes. Yes. Now, when we speak of the term new age, some people get uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you a devil. Somebody say new age. New age. Whenever you are hearing something, don't just think of the words in the light of your religious connotations. Please, I want you to actually understand it from, from its definition itself. Hello. We are here. If you say new age, what are you saying? You're saying a new age, a new dispensation. Yes. Yes. Now, there are those who we call new age uh -huh. because we believe that they are, they are, the path that they choose is to, you know, just, um, have, for lack of a better term, just dabble in whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and we say, these guys, they are new agers. Uh -huh. Listen to me. Yeah. The true new agers are those who are wicked. Hey, come on. One age is about 240,000 years. These people are not, this man is not a Christian. He does not believe the Bible. He's got, all this stuff is made up by demons. You know how that one age is about 240,000 years? Yeah. Are you still there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And in every age, there are the things that God has assigned for men to come up higher in the reality of what he designed them for. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. And so we have experienced so much so far. Mm -hmm. But there is still how far we need to go yes. in that experience, that intended experience of human existence. Uh -huh. yes. There is that experience mm -hmm. that we need to climb to its heights yeah. so that we can attain all that God has purpose for humans yes. to be. Yes. 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 And if we are not awakened, mm -hmm. we will never.
never enter that new experience. Mm. Go by what you're going to ask new age. Not those who just dabble in whatever. No, that's what we're doing. You're dabbling in some ungodliness right now, folks. This is this is pure Satan right here. These people have no clue that they're not Christians. The true new agents are those who are fully awake. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And you see, the guys who practice what we refer to as new age don't even understand the true sense of what that is. Yeah. They don't understand that whatever they're looking for is actually have already been provided in God that they should be able to be open to. But you would hear them say, I'm open to the universe. And I don't want the believers to become too, 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 um, how do you call it? Critical of their statements because these are actually universal truths of God. Don't become too critical to their statements <clears throat> when they say they're open to the universe because these are universal truths. How do you call it? Critical of their statements because these are actually universal truths of God. I already told you that the Bible is a book. Yeah. This is pantheism. The, the, the universe is God. You can look to creation. Um, there's a scripture that talks about they worshiped and served the creation rather than the creator in Romans 1. These people have been given over to a reprobate mind. The Bible is not the totality of the knowledge of God. Yeah, True. Right. So if you think that by reading a book, you will find out all there is to know about God, you have missed God. Yeah, right. Ah, Gnosticism, just like Lovi. The, the Bible is just the, the base point. They can go before, they can go beyond that and make up anything they want. Let me run that back. Yep, just like Lovi lies. That the Bible is a book. Yeah. The Bible is not the totality of the knowledge of God. Yeah, True. Right. So if you think that by reading a book, you will find out all there is to know about God, you have missed God. Well, he's calling God a liar because the word of God says that, um, the word of God says all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for proof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, meaning that you don't need anything else, and equipped for every good work, meaning that there's there's nothing beyond what is written that man needs to know to live and to do the good works that God desires. Wow. Because you can't completely know God by book. No. Can I talk to you? Yeah. Yeah. So there are elements of truth and reality that you will not find in your Bible. Yeah. And that's why when you read the Bible, it actually refers to other books. Yeah. 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 What books? I'll guarantee you he's talking about the book of Thomas, Enoch, Jasher, non-canonical -canon books that don't match up with the scriptures in, in any way. This guy is sick. Stop thinking and thinking and looking at it from your religious, you know, concepts about it and what you have been told in church. Don't don't go into new age and things. Forget that. Look at the word itself. There is a new age that is coming. Amen. When the Lord Jesus appears, He's appearing to start a new age. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's still there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And to dominate that age, to be dominant in that age, please, you will need to come into the fullness of the. You will not be among the elect. You are not in the elect you are in the reprobate you will not be part of the kingdom of god because you have departed far from doctrine far from scripture you will not see when you see jesus he's going to be saying depart from me i never knew you particular generation of humans. Mm -hmm. We are the generation that I believe that God is undertaking to take up the responsibility mm -hmm. to secure the human experience mm -hmm. and to ensure that human This dude is crazy and just absolutely cuckoo for to secure the human experience. Oh, not one scripture, nothing. And the reality of God concerning humans is not completely lost. Amen. 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 And whoever is not standing to take up that responsibility will be counted among the worst of the world. Yeah, there. So this is so deviant from Christianity, and he's saying that like if you're not part of this group that he's creating, this is pure cult. Um, you'll be part of the refuse or the waste of the world. Um, we're going to go up to about twenty minutes, and I please forgive me. I just want to make this perfectly clear. There's nothing. There's nothing of the faith in Christ that's in this man or his followers. 
This video is three hours and 56 minutes long of this. Of, of This is all it is. There's no worship. There's no deliverance. There's no nothing. This, this man talks for four hours. It's insane. I didn't watch the four hours, but I clicked all the way through it at various points to see um, if anything else happens. It doesn't. The purpose and intent of God for why, why you are here yes. is because he wants your existence to count for humanity. Yes. If your existence does not count for humanity, you are placed in what is called the waste of the world. Mm -hmm. I need to talk to you about yeah, yeah. 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 Nothing. Nothing about um, the gospel. Nothing about you're separated from God. Nothing about your nothing. Nothing's going to be heard in here about sin, or the need for repentance, or the need for sanctification. Uh, just the awakening uh, to who you are, which new, pure new age. When you get awakened to who you are, you realize you're a sinner, <laughs> and you're separated from God. This man is so deluded he doesn't know recognize he's a sinner separated from God. I need to understand what it means to walk in purpose. Yes. How important it is to find what God has given to you as purpose yes. and walk in it Amen. without any apologies. Yes. God's children, especially, and those of us who have received Christ, should understand that the alignments of God can never be found by just living anyhow. No. Yeah. In alignment, you must understand what your purpose is. Yeah. Yes. That was that was the guitar player on Camille's um, demonic music video right there. This guy here. In alignment, you must understand what your purpose is. Okay. Yes. Can I talk to somebody? Oh, yes. All right. He's speaking. He's speaking to Sean Hedrick, like the twenty-four-year-old um, husband of forty-year-old Camille. Yep, that's right. <laughs> She's like forty. He's like twenty-four. So, Whew. this is so. This is so out of order. This is so disordered, and Jezebelic. This is. This is the false kingdom. On this matter, because I believe we are the generation that has the responsibility yes. to take on whatever the calling mm -hmm. are presented to our world, the calling ones, yeah. whatever they are anticipating for that to do. Uh -huh. We are the chosen generation yeah. that will stand and withstand, yeah. that will say, Enough is enough mm -hmm. yes. of all that you have been doing, all the you know, pandemics and all the nonsense. Oh. Yes, teach us, teach us. They all follow the same MO. It's it's crazy. I feel like I'm talking they they have to have people feeding their ego constantly. It's it's nuts. That's him right there. That's that's Sean Hedrick. That's Camille's husband. So they full blown lost. Only an act of God can turn them around. And, and when they refused to repent, they knew they knew that they were being exposed. They were in cahoots with um, Jalen Wilson. Oh yeah, let's let's watch uh, let's watch this to twenty minutes, and I'll include something else in this. Nothing about putting your faith in Christ alone. Nothing about being saved, saved by grace through faith. And what Christ has accomplished. If what how did he put that? How what was that craziness he said? Because you you won't you won't be able to make it unless you do what he just said. If we continue to allow all the evil plots of satanic men and satanic beings, then we have proven to God that they're not ready for the new So if we continue to allow the plots, pandemics and all that stuff of evil men, we've proven to God we're not ready. And I guess you you're not saved. The height of human reality that he planned for us all. Wow. I'm still there. We're here. Oh, yeah. You crazy. And I tell you, because of the new responsibility of some, many of our generation will not enter that new age. Wow. I want you to so you're not going to enter the new age unless you stop the plots of evil men. Nothing to do with Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. 
No one comes to the Father except through me. You won't enter into the new age if you don't um, awaken. To see that this concept was already interpreted in the Bible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you look at the nation of Israel, uh-huh. it is actually a typology of human experience. Mm-hmm. They were taken into captivity for 400 years. Yeah. And until they began to cry out and say, Enough is enough. Yeah. Deliver us, they got home. But then, when they were delivered, when, they, when we were saved, uh-huh. I see, yeah. we still have a responsibility that on our way to the promised land, we needed to have a certain mindset. Yes. That mindset. This is cuckoo and crazy and totally not a church. Not a church. Let's go to something else. You, y'all want going to want to see this. Okay, so now this is, uh, this is Sean Hedrick and Camille Hedrick's former partner in crime. When they were false uh, wealth transfer prophets about two years ago, leading all their followers to uh, invest in Shiba Inu junk cryptocurrency. This is Jalen Wilson. He's another false prophet. But check out. This is in a video. (laughs) These false prophets all the time put out words for Marcus Rogers, Alexander Pagani. I have a prophecy for Isaiah Saldivar. I have a prophecy for Greg Locke. They want to get the attention of the big wolves. Little wolves, cape for big wolves. So this video is entitled, Word for Marcus Rogers. Now watch this. The Lord told me, this, he want me to let people know where I stand, okay? And I have to say, and I say it in love. Uh, for Sean and Camille, y'all always be asking me about them. Y'all always be asking me. Um, so he said his followers are always asking him about Vishon, which is Sean Hedrick. That's his full name, Vishon, F-I-S-S-H-O-N, and Camille. So, Sean and Camille, y'all always be asking me about them. Y'all always be asking me, um, what's up with Vishon and Camille? What they got going on? And da, 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 da. Let me tell you why I stand. I don't agree with the things that they preach, bottom line, because it's not biblical. Okay, what's, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What is it? It's just uh, like the stars and what? <laughs> 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 Wait, wow, that, I haven't played that one before. That's a different wolf noise. Look, y'all, when you got false prophets called out false prophets. You know you're a false prophet. That, that's like the demon slayers called out Loby Elias. <laughs> he says, what's that stuff they be on? Do astrology. They preach bottom line because it's not biblical. Okay, the, what's, what's the stuff they're talking about? What's it? Zodiac or what is it? It's just uh, like the stars and whatever they be talking about. I don't, I don't stand, I don't stand for none of the because it's, it's witchcraft. I'm just saying for what it is. I don't, I don't, I don't tolerate. I don't stand for none of the because it's, it's witchcraft. I'm just saying for what it is. Talking about. I don't, I don't stand, I don't stand for none of the because it's, it's witchcraft. I'm just saying for what it is. Yes, it is. He's right about I don't that. Tolerate that. You know what I'm saying? I stay 100% Bible based. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, y'all always be asking me what I, where do I stand with it. I don't, I don't agree with it, but they're, they're still my brother in the faith, and I love him. You know what I'm saying? That's still his brother in the faith, and he loves him, even though they're on witchcraft. <laughs> These people are crazy. So, just like I said, I'm praying for them, but <coughs> I wanted to let that be known. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I think he has a demon. I think he has a demon, y'all. Out of life. He's coughing. That's one of the symptoms of demons. It needs deliverance. The Lord be having me call out witchcraft all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, um, back to the, the full message. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so he's going to go back to Marcus Rogers. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you all a little full-blown demonstration that these people are <laughs> ten tones down for New Age and Doctrines of Devils. This individual here that I just watched uh, or just played, Jalen Wilson, is also, he's still a false prophet. He's hes as nutty as a fruit basket. hes He talks about um, aliens. He talks about Nephilim. He talks about, uh, what was that thing? The You know, the altered species and stuff like that. Cross species, pig people, goat people, wolf people, uh, mermaids, um, you know, marine kingdoms, the whole nine yards. All right, y'all, this has been a chore. But now, for everybody who's following Camille Hedrick, you have been warned. Run. To everybody else, I hope you've kind of enjoyed this and been a little bit entertained and a little bit enlightened. This is Brother Rob Wilson. Grace, peace, and love. In Jesus' holy name, amen.